Last of all, we'll be talking about the lymphatic drainage of the tongue. This is an extremely difficult uh, topic to remember as well as very important because it has a lot of clinical importance in how when uh, because the uh, lymphatic drainage of the tongue is a little bit complex and it uh, goes into different a different uh, nodes from different areas of the tongue. This decides if you have a carcinoma of the tongue depending on which part of the tongue has been involved in the carcinoma it will determine which nodes will involve in the node uh, in, sorry in the neck so to know the spread of carcinoma of the tongue depending on which part of the tongue has been involved which neck node will be involved first we have to know what is the lymphatic drainage of the tongue so uh, the lymphatic drainage they consist of intramuscular and submucosal plexus and they get arranged in four sets as you can see over here this is the apical drainage there is the marginal drainage there is the dorsal drainage and there is a the central drainage so this is the drainage of the tongue there are four groups now we'll talk about each group the first group is the apical set the apical set is responsible for draining the tip and the frenulum linguae and it terminates in three ways. The first most uh, common way, uh, some of the vessels, they pierce the my, uh, muscle myelohyoid and they drain into the submental nodes. And a few vessels pass down in front of the hyoid bone and they drain directly into the jugulo-omohyoid nodes. So this is the main drainage. Some of them may pierce the myelohyoid and instead of draining into the submental nodes, which is the 1A lymphatic nodes, they drain into the submandibular nodes, which is the class 1B. I've spoken about the different lymphatic uh, levels of the neck in another video. You can check me out over there. And uh, so this is the second pathway of drainage from the apical set. And the last pathway is a few of the vessels they can pass deep to myeloid and terminate in jugulodigastric or jugulo-omohyoid nodes. So this is about the apical set drainage. So if you see over here in the image, this is the apical nodes. Some of them drain into the submental nodes which is right over here. Some of them go to the submandibular nodes over here and some of them can go to the jugulo-omohyoid or jugulodigastric nodes. Next, we move on to the next set which is the marginal set. Now, the marginal set of lymph nodes, they drain the side of the tongue in front of the sulcus terminalis. And they again have two different types of drainage. Some vessels can pierce myelohyoid and they drain into the submandibular nodes and some vessels they can pass deep to the myelohyoid and drain into the jugulodigastric and jugulo-omohyoid nodes. If you see over here in this image, this is the marginal nodes, which is basically draining the side of the tongue in front of the sulcus terminalis. This is the sulcus terminalis. And some of them, they will either go into the submandibular nodes, which is right over here, or some of them will end up going to the jugulo-omohyoid or the jugulodigastric nodes. Next, we come to the central set of lymph nodes. The central set of lymph nodes drain the dorsal surface of the anterior two-thirds of the tongue in front of the valid papillae. These the group of lymph nodes, they descend between the two genioglossus muscle and then they have two pathways. One pathway, they either go into the jugulodigastric or the jugulo-omohyoid nodes without piercing the myelohyoid muscle. Or the second pathway is when some of them pierce the myelohyoid and drain into the submandibular nodes. And last of all are the dorsal set or the basal set. This dorsal set of lymph nodes, it drains the posterior one third of the tongue including the valid papillae. And they again have two drainage. Most of the vessels will drain bilaterally. It is important to remember the word bilaterally over here because in these cases, if, if a carcinoma of the tongue involves the dorsum of the tongue, there is a higher uh, possibility of the bilateral involvement of the neck nodes, which will change the staging of your cancer right over there. So most vessels will drain bilaterally into jugulodigastric nodes after piercing the pharyngeal wall. And a lesser 
pathway is one of the vessel passes downward behind the tongue and the hyoid pierces the thyrohyoid membrane and it drains directly into the jugulo omohyoid nodes so these are the dorsal or the basal set you'll see in the image over here this is the dorsal set and they go bilaterally into the jugulo omohyoid nodes so this is about the lymphatic drainage and the different sets lastly a little bit more about the lymphatic drainage there are some peculiar features in the lymphatic drainage of the tongue first of all is the fact that the lymphatics do not accompany blood vessels over here in the tongue second in the middle of the tongue i told you there is a median fibrous septum which divides the tongue into two symmetrical halves in the middle of the tongue a free decussation takes place of the lymphatics and they end up passing bilaterally as, as i've just mentioned in the above part in the dorsal set third point is the tip of the tongue has the richest supply so the clinical importance of this particular point is the fact that if there is a carcinoma affecting the tip of the tongue there is a higher propensity that it will spread to all the cervical lymph nodes on both the sides of the neck this is very important because this leads to a more severe stage of staging of the tongue carcinoma because of involvement of bilateral lymph nodes and most of the lymph nodes being involved last of all a group of lymph nodes situated at bifurcation of common carotid artery this is known as the principal lymph nodes of the tongue